Shemot, Exodus 27. And you shall make at an altar of shittim wood five cubits long and five cubits broad. The altar shall be four square, and the height thereof shall be three cubits. And you shall make the, th- the horns of it upon the four corners thereof. His horns shall be of the same, and you shall overlay it with brass. And you shall make his p- pans to receive his ashes, and his shovels, and his basins, and his flesh hooks, and his fire pans. All the vessels thereof you shall make of brass. And you shall make for it a grate of network of brass. And upon the net shall you make four brazen rings in the four corners thereof. And you shall put it under the compass of the altar beneath, that the net may be even to the midst of the altar. And you shall make staves for the altar, staves of shittim wood, and overlay them with brass. And the staves shall be put at into the rings, and the staves shall be upon the two sides of the altar to bear it. Hollow with boards shall you make it, as it was showed you in the mount, so shall they make it. And you shall make at the court of the tabernacle, for the south side southward there shall be hangings for the court of fine twined linen of a hundred cubits long for one side. And the twenty pillars thereof and their twenty sockets shall be of brass. The hooks of the pillars and their fillets shall be of silver. And likewise for the north side in length, there shall be hangings of a hundred cubits long and his twenty pillars and their twenty sockets of brass. The hooks of the pillars and their fillets of silver And for the breadth of the court on the west side shall be hangings of fifty cubits, their pillars ten, and their sockets ten. And the breadth of the court on the east side eastward shall be fifty cubits. The hangings of one side of the gate shall be fifteen cubits, their pillars three, and their sockets three. And on the other side shall be hangings Fifteen cubits, their pillars three, and their sockets three. And for the gate of the court shall be a hanging of twenty cubits of blue and purple and scarlet and fine twined linen wrought with needlework. And their pillars shall be four, and their sockets four. All the pillars round about the court shall be filled with silver. Their hooks shall be of silver and their sockets of brass. The length of the court shall be a hundred cubits and the breadth fifty everywhere. And the height five cubits of fine twined linen and their sockets of brass. All the vessels of the tabernacle in all the service thereof and all the pins thereof And all the pins of the court shall be of brass. And you shall command at the children of Yasharael that they bring you pure oil, olive, beaten for the light, to cause the lamp to burn always. In the tabernacle of the assembly without the veil, which is before the testimony, Aharan and his sons shall order it from evening to morning before Yahuwah. It shall be a statute forever unto their generations on the behalf of the children of Yasharael. Exodus 27.